Hey y'all, what's up? So today I'm filming my grad pics. As you can see, I am on campus filming my grad pictures. It has been a morning, okay? It has really been a morning because your girl just wasn't prepared. Like I wasn't fully prepared like I thought I would be, like I needed to be because I just been procrastinating. But I wanna show y'all my cap, but it's not completely finished. So I'll show you my cap on actual graduation day. I'll show you the pictures. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I'm so proud of myself. Um, but I was running late, so I'm trying to hurry. That's why I'm out of breath, because I'm like running. My hair is kind of poofy. I just straightened it this morning. But yes, I will check in with y'all. Honestly, probably when I leave, um, my photographer and his girlfriend helped me get some behind the scenes footage. So, damn, am I dropping something? I'll check in with y'all whenever I get ready to leave. Hey y'all. So it is the next day and I just got out of the shower, obviously. But, you know, I never came back to you guys last night because I, or yesterday, because I was tired. Your girl is exhausted, okay? Like I have, I'm, I'm literally trying to finish this semester. I'm working, I, you know, I have assignments, like family stuff, my friends are having babies. Like it's just a, a lot has been going on. So I said all that to say, like I never came back on camera yesterday because um, I was tired. When I came back home from my photo shoot, I literally got on the couch and then I just went to sleep. Like I went to sleep for a couple hours. I woke up, I did some work. And then I think I like got on TikTok and social media and all that stuff. And then I watched some TV and I went back to sleep. This morning I woke up and I'm like, I graduate literally in 12 days. Like I'm gonna be walking the stage in 12 days. And it's been a long time since I've been anywhere, like outside of Dallas. It's been a long time since I've taken myself on a date. It's been a long time since I've like just really been able to just like enjoy myself, right? So I'm like, you know what? The celebration started yesterday and I'm gonna take myself out tonight. So I just took a shower. Snow Allegra is here tonight. So we're gonna get ready to go to her concert. Um, it starts at eight and it's 7.37. And I'm technically still, let, let me let me show y'all what it looks like to be almost about to graduate, but still be trying, still trying to go outside. So I'm trying to get dressed right now. I'm not doing the most at all. Like I'm literally gonna put on some jeans. There's this one top that I'm looking for where I can't find because my house is a disaster. Like literally look like a tornado ran through here, but we gon' it's it's gonna be fixed this week for real. Um, but I'm just wearing some jeans and like a cute little bodysuit and a little crossbody bag and we literally out the door. Like I'm not doing the most at all. Um, but let me put this toner on. Um I'm listening to a lecture from my professor right now. She's talking about her experience, how she got to where she is right now. So I'm listening to that. I have to finish a paper based off of what she's talking about. And then um, I'm out the door. I'm hungry. I haven't had anything but breakfast. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to like come and check in with y'all real quick because I've just left yesterday. Like I just popped up and then literally like just dipped out. Um, yeah, so just real quick, I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about my experience yesterday and my grad photos. So I, Miss Think I Can Do Everything Myself, wasn't even going to um, get anybody to take my grad photos for me. Like I was gonna try to do it myself, but you know, 
I can't do that. Like I can't do everything myself and I really need to learn that. Like I really need to not try to do everything myself. Like people, people have jobs for a reason. Like people do things for a reason and it's not up to me to do everything that everybody else does because then everybody wouldn't, you know? So anyway, I reached out to one of my friends and I asked him who took his grad photos and then I was like, you know what? First of all, but he's super cheap and he really needs to be charging more. Um, and I paid him more than what his uh, price was. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, I reached out to him. I booked my photo shoot. I got my outfits together. Uh, and yeah, but let me tell you where, let me tell you where I messed up it. So I have my outfits together, but I, I should have, let me just tell y'all what I should have did. I should have like prepped everything before. I really didn't think that, I've never had a photo shoot before. So, I mean, I know what it entails, but you know, just let me make it. So, this isn't the right brush that I need. Where is the brush that I need? Okay, so I really wasn't prepared yesterday. I wasn't prepared in the sense that my cap wasn't even completed. Like, it it needs some more stuff on it. The majority of it is completed and it really came out better than I thought it would. I mean, whoever's told your girl to have faith in hand painting a cap? I don't know. I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> That's something that I had expertise in, but you know, I did that. I did that. I'll, I'll show you guys like whenever it's done, done for real. Um, but yeah, my cap wasn't even like fully completed. I didn't have my clothes like together as far as, look how I'm slapping this makeup on y'all. Like not, this is, this is not how I, I mean, I don't know how to do no makeup, but this is not how I usually do it. I usually do it with some structure, but today, we're just gonna slap it on and it's gonna look good, okay? Um, anyway, so yeah, I didn't have like my clothes and stuff ironed and stuff like I needed to. I couldn't find my watch. I still can't find my watch. I don't know where it's at. Did I leave it at my mom's house, I wonder? And I don't lose anything, y'all. Like, let me just say that. I don't lose anything so the fact that i can't find it, it it's not lost it's just misplaced so wherever it's at i'm gonna find it um but anyways i couldn't find my watch i hadn't i got some new shoes and i hadn't like taken them out the box and like tied them up how they were supposed to be tied like it was just it was just a lot of things i didn't have together um, I took a shower that morning and I should have lotioned like exactly when I got out of the shower, but then I wanted to be like glistening for the picture. So I waited and overall, all I'm trying to say is take somebody with you. If you think that you can do all that on your own, like more power to you sis, but like don't really just, you shouldn't, you should really take somebody with you, have somebody help you. Have somebody like make sure that you're prim and proper and all of your shots come out like you want them to and just you know be on time i was late but he was like really understanding he was like it's okay he stayed later than what he would have like if it was just my regular session like i i fuck with him and then on top of that, I think it was his birthday yesterday. So I think I'm just gonna be nice and send him some extra money and be like, you know what? Shout out to you for, um, shout out to you for like doing this on your birthday cause you definitely didn't have to. So anyways, I just wanted to say that and let y'all know like how everything went yesterday. I did get some behind the scenes. His girlfriend was actually there too. Um, and she helped me 
out a little bit and she did did some like behind the scenes um videos for me and it came out so cute and it just it's really a tearjerker and if you don't follow me on instagram or on tiktok for that matter i really don't be on tiktok like that i mean i be on tiktok but i don't be posting on tiktok but you know whatever uh if you don't follow me on instagram though you probably should because that's where it's lit at um I posted it on Instagram, and then whenever I, like I get the, the pictures down, back, I post shit. the pictures, and you guys can see. A... Yeah, I'm just super excited, and I really wanted to share that with y'all, and because I wasn't prepared, I wasn't like, able to take you guys along the way that I wanted to, I need to retie this and then tie it back. Yeah, I wasn't able to like take you guys along the way that I, that I wanted to, the way that I intended to initially, so... You know, kind of sucks, but it's okay because really all y'all need to see is these pictures and how fire I look in these pictures and how oops, much of Babbage energy I'm giving. Like, that's all y'all really need to see. That's all. That's, that's it and that's all. That's it and that's all. Okay, so. <laughs> I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about that very briefly let you guys know my experience um i will give you guys the info for my photographer if you want like i don't know i don't know if that's what y'all want but i will if you want it he's dope he's really sweet too um but yeah i let me finish getting myself together and i'm gonna check in with y'all whenever i'm headed out the door honestly oh i didn't do my brows bye okay y'all so i just threw this on i'm wearing this um bodysuit it's from a different i think it's called a different bar it's a um black owned brand here in dallas i believe um if i'm not mistaken I, my cousin actually sent me their page and I follow them on Instagram. So I bought this. They were having a $5 sale like a couple months ago. So I bought up some shit for $5. And then I have on these jeans that I got from H&M. You guys really can't see them. But um, I got these jeans on and then this little bag. I got this from Forever 21. And I want to say it was like five dollars too. I bought this a while ago. Um, some H&M earrings and then my Narcisse necklace. And yeah, this is just what I threw on real quick. There was this other bodysuit that I wanted to wear. It was real cute, but I can't find it. So this is what I'm going to wear. And I'm going to take a scrunchie just in case it get hot and I have to put my hair up. So I'm going to put this in my little bag. This is just big enough to fit like a lip gloss and my cards and my ID. But yeah, this is what I'm wearing. I would, let me show y'all in the room. Even though my room's a disaster. I'm gonna show y'all anyway. Once. So, I don't, the lighting in here sucks. But this is the top. These are the jeans. They are some straight leg jeans. And then these are, I'm just wearing my Jordans. My blue Jordans. And yeah, this is a look. All right, let's go. Y'all, why is it nine o'clock and I'm just not getting here? But, um, I'm so excited. I hope she doesn't start yet because I kind of want to go to the restroom. I'm in the elevator. I had to park literally all the way to the top of the parking garage. Um, I'm super excited though. I hope she doesn't start yet because I really want to um, go to the bathroom first. I feel like I'm gonna be nervous. Um, and then also, like, I don't even know where to go. I don't know technically where the, where the, I mean, I know the area that it's in, but like, I want it glorious too, but I have my homework to do, so, um, I think it's over here. We'll see. Let's go, y'all. Make sure you drink water if you have some. Should we take it from the end of the decisive? Yeah. I'm 
for you every time I try to resist. Taking it away, I'm just beach feels in an every day. All I wanna hear is an every single we play. Sitting next to you, you. I try not to show how I feel about you. Think of it your way. Really want wanna, wanna, I just wanna get away. Sitting next to you, you. Let's go and that's where we're living. Every show, my audience, this is important to me. It might sound cheesy or like cliche, but I just want to encourage everybody in here that has a dream and a vision to really go for that. Never miss a second. Giving up on this journey because it's been a really, really long one. Uh, this song is called By the Skies. It was really good. She did a good job. Like, I'm so happy that I went. Like, I'm so happy that I woke up and was like, you know what? Go. Because, like, what else are you going to do? I'm happy. I'm so happy that I went. Um, I'm happy that I was able to, like, Y'all, these wipes had a hole in the package, so I'd be having to like put some water on it to activate the properties. <laughs> um, but I'm so happy that I went, even though I went by myself. Um, the concert was so good. She did such a good job. She, um, she mentioned that she lost her voice and you can kind of tell a little bit but she tried like her best it was the concert was good okay it was so good i got a drink and i'm actually kind of feeling it to be honest that's probably why i'm like hella excited too but it was so good y'all like her voice is beautiful and then like three people fainted and every time she was like uh-uh we need some medics over here because no not at my show but it was so good i'm gonna well i mean you guys are gonna see clips and everything from the show it was amazing like i'm so happy i'm so pleased honestly though i think the best concert well no i can't even say that because i went to an adele concert and Adele, when I tell you Adele, listen, oh my camera's about to die. Anyways, I've been to an Adele concert, I've been to a Tank concert, I've been to a Chris Brown, like, Summer Jam concert. Although I want to go to the concert that he has with a little baby that's coming soon. Um, Adele, Chris Brown, Tank. Wale, Wale was good too. I love Wale's music. Anyway, Snow, baby girl did her thing, okay? And that's all I got to say, and that's just that on that. But anyways, I'm about to finish washing my face, y'all, and I'm about to get in bed because it's bedtime. And I will see you guys tomorrow.